Smart card authentication process. Smart cards, for instance, public transit cards, are widely used in some countries for authentication purposes at universities and workplaces, so that an authorized person can use a printer or access a room by just putting the card on a reader. How does this really work and is it enough safe to use a public transit card in such cases? Can a bank card be used in this case instead of a public transit card? An example of dumb card is those used in hotels to replace physical keys or entry badges. These can be usually be cloned with equipment like a Proxmark, Proxmark Pro or even an NFC-enabled smartphone. You can argue that they are less secure than physical keys, because someone who has portable equipment that is readily available on the market and may already exist in your pocket and comes close enough to the card could make a copy. When it comes to contactless there are quite a few standards. Not all cards are the same in terms of design, cryptographic abilities and they do not all operate on the same frequency ranges. Let me address this sentence. Smart cards, for instance, public transit cards, are widely used in some countries for authentication purposes at universities and workplaces, so that an authorized person can use a printer or access a room by just putting the card on a reader. What you describe is not authentication but identification. Because you are not proving you are who you say you are, an authorized user, for example by providing a password in addition to the physical token. Anybody can borrow your card to use the printer. The difference can be explained in simple terms. Identification occurs when a user or any subject claims or professes an identity. This can be accomplished with a username, a process ID, a smart card, or anything else that can uniquely identify a subject. Authentication is the process of proving an identity and it occurs when subjects provide appropriate credentials to prove their identity. For example, when a user provides the correct password with a username, the password proves that the user is the owner of the username. In short, the authentication provides proof of a claimed identity. Source, identification, authentication, and authorization. For a more detailed discussion, difference between authentication and identification, crypto and security perspective, as to the question, can a bank card be used in this case instead, the answer is yes probably but there are legal considerations that will probably not permit it. If my employer required the use of a bank card or chip identity card to access the printer or restroom, the data protection authority in my country would step in, because such a scheme is illegal. In addition to the legal considerations, the liability aspect raised by Schroeder above has to be considered too.